OK, well, for the government's claim of a grand international Labor-inspired conspiracy to stand up, we have to return to Barnaby Joyce's ancestral roots. And just to explain, in New Zealand, it's emerged that a Labor MP by the name of Chris Hipkins had been sniffing around about Barnaby Joyce's citizenship and had even placed a question on notice in the beehive there. After that, the facts become a little contested, to say the least, especially around who in Australia might have prompted Mr Hipkins to ask his question, with some suggestion at least that, that it was an old Australian Labor Party mate. And the Labor leader in New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, reckons Mr Hipkins was wrong to have gone there in the first place. So the first time I heard of this issue was yesterday afternoon when it was in the media. Um, I heard that there were questions that had been asked um, by Chris Hipkins, a member of our team. Um, it became clear as the day proceeded that actually uh, it was Fairfax in Australia that ultimately were the cause um, of the DIA and the New Zealand High Commission contacting Mr Joyce about his citizenship as opposed to the questions that were asked by Chris. However, Chris himself has acknowledged that had he known what those questions would be used for, he wouldn't have asked them. And I've certainly relayed to him that it's my expectation that we focus on our own elections. He's been very clear that he was approached by uh, a, an acquaintance uh, in the Australian Labor Party. So he's working on behalf of the Australian Labor Party? He was asked a question by uh, an acquaintance in the Australian Labor Party, which he couldn't answer. He asked a question to clarify. He didn't know who was involved. But I've made it clear to him that regardless of those circumstances, this was not an issue that we should have been involved in. Any MP should make sure they are not interfering part of the politics of another country. We have to respect uh, whatever views we have. Other countries run their politics. We don't want them interfering in ours. I mean, imagine if an Australian MP commissioned or a New Zealand MP commissioned someone in Australia to ask questions about New Zealand politics. It's another misjudgment in the Labor Party about an issue that uh, was quite serious.